Well, thank you very much, Mr. Werfel. Uh, for the purposes of preparing your report, uh, did you speak to former Commissioner Doug Schulman? I did not. Did you speak to former Acting Commissioner Steve Miller? I did not. And did you talk with Joseph Grant, the former Deputy Commissioner for TEGE? No, I did not. Did you talk with Chief Counsel William Wilkins? Yes. Uh, what were the basic uh, summaries of those conversations? Uh, I, uh, as a first matter, uh, there were three things I set out to do, which are in the report. First, understand uh, where the wrongdoing was so I can hold people accountable. Second, understand where the management failures and process mistakes are in the exempt organizations unit so we can fix them. And third, a broader understanding of IRS risks and operations. And I spoke to many people within the IRS. Uh, in fact, my whole senior leadership team engaged in an ongoing series of discussions, and Bill Wilkins ha is one of the uh, senior leaders within IRS. Did you talk to Sarah Hall Ingram, the former deputy commissioner? I have spoken to Sarah Hall Ingram, yes. As you prepared the report? Uh, I, For I the guess, purposes of preparing the report, did you speak to her? I'm not sure how to answer that question. I spoke to her as part of my overall understanding of the situation on the ground with the IRS, so yes, I guess they all connect. Okay, and did you speak with Lois Lerner, the former director of the exempt organization? I did not. Well, I, I would say that your initial conclusion that the IRS found no evidence of intentional wrongdoing by IRS personnel, given the number of key players that you did not talk to, I think is not necessarily an initial conclusion, but an incomplete one. And I really don't see how you were able to reach that. But we know from our investigation that in the summer of 2011, Lois Lerner directed the Cincinnati